Brexit. Everyone has their own opinion about whether to leave or to stay. Each side often throws about big numbers that prove their point. But, as the famous politician Benjamin Disraeli reportedly said, There are lies, damned lies, and statistics. So what do the numbers mean? And who's right? Bloomberg's taken a look. The debate has really focused on three key issues. Trade, the membership fee, and immigration. The latter is the most contentious. 2.7 million people are predicted to arrive in the country by 2030, and the Leave campaign say immigration is putting pressure on the job market and welfare system. The Stronger In campaign say the net inflow of migrants to the UK will slow. Official figures suggest a drop in net migration to 185,000 in 2021, from over 300,000 in 2015. Funnily enough, both say the same thing. The number of migrants will go up if Britain stays. What's lacking in those numbers is context. It's true, the number of EU immigrants moving to the UK has increased recently. Just over half came from the EU in 2015. But if you look back over the past 25 years, you'll see the non-EU migrants still account for the majority of immigration to the UK. A vote to leave could curb migration, but it's important to know that any attempt to renegotiate full access to the single market would require the UK to accept free movement of labour. The second topic is the membership fee. Leave say being a member of the EU costs Britain £350 million every single week, or £18 billion a year. The Remain side acknowledge that figure, but say it doesn't take into account what Britain gets back. If they're taken into account, the annual sum reduces to just over £8 billion. That's 0.4% of GDP, or about 35 pence per person, per day. Finally, there's trade. 44% of exports go to the EU. That's big but the share has been falling as exports to other economies have risen. Remain say it's too big a market for Britain to walk away from. Leave say being freed from the EU will allow Britain to take advantage of the fast-growing markets outside of Europe. Bloomberg Intelligence have a model. It looks complicated. It is complicated. But if you break it down, you can see this part. That gives you the estimate that trade between the UK and other members of the single market is 10% higher than with similar countries outside the EU. That translates into the level of GDP being about 2% higher than it would have been had Britain remained outside the European Union. That doesn't mean Brits will wake up on the 24th of June 2% poor if they vote to leave. But it does mean the stakes are high in any trade deal negotiations.